It's Danu on Fire right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today we are checking out the Healing Cafe. We are at Mara the Colombo, and thank you for joining us on the show. Today I'm speaking to, concerned the fact that it's a Healing Cafe, uh, two people actually who can heal you physically and to some level mentally. <laughs> Sorry. I'm happy to have Isru and Natasha on the show. Um, starting off 2023 on a good note, if you want to make sure that you're fit, you have a better version of yourself, you can be inspired here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for being on the show and uh, thanks for giving us your time. Tell me about uh, life for 2023. Are you all making... You all don't have that one resolution where we all say we have to go to the gym, we have to like, yeah. lose weight. That what we normally say is not there enough for you all. Yeah. You all are anyway doing it. But, uh, what are your second, third, fourth points? <laughs> I'll let Natasha tell you that because she's the one who plans everything. Oh. So. I can't share everything with you. Oh, okay, just. But uh, we're planning to do Iron Man uh, in Vietnam this year. Whoa. As yeah. a team. As a oh, team. Right. First time ever. Yeah. So that's like you have to swim, you have to cycle, you have to There's run. There's a triathlon, yeah, but we're doing it as a team. So I'll be cycling and she'll be swimming and running. I have to learn to swim from scratch. You have. N no. Can you swim? I, I can manage. I mean, we can float. Yeah. Ah, really? Yeah. Oh, y'all are like really planning. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going. Yeah, like in because you don't even know how to swim, you're going to learn that <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why didn't you want to do the swimming part? Uh, I could have, but she uh, volunteered. Wow. Right, yeah. Okay, fine. So I just gave it to her. Because anyway, Natasha is more of a cardio. She's like born with endurance in her body. I don't like it like it. Yeah, but, but she's good with yeah, endurance I'm, and I'm good yeah. with my strength, so... I yeah. loved her to do that part. Right, okay. Yeah. That's kind of cool. You know, these are not easy challenges. It's like actually, it, they, they say it's easy, but it's not, right? No. Do I have a time easy. limit to finish? Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a time. So you can tell him the mileage. Um, the swim is 1.9 kilometers, the cycle is 90 kilometers, 90, and the run is 21 kilometers. Yeah. So yeah. we're planning for that. That's amazing. Well done. I'm so happy. <laughs> Anything that is interesting, that is not less, fitness related. Yeah. Uh, less yes. Painful. Uh, less painful would be training you this year. Uh, yeah. Less that's painful something. for us. Yeah. yeah. That's going to. That's, that's good. something that I will really enjoy. Oh, thanks. Okay. For those who don't know, um, they they have been working together in terms of fitness, and that was a start to uh, like how you all sort of came out in terms of promoting a uh, healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Tell me about what, what, have, what made you all get into it on a full-time level. So then it's again going back to my story where I came out as a I started as a dancer and then I understood dancing can't take me that far uh, as a professional. So then I, I was training myself alone and I saw results and then I started training a few of my friends and that showed results and then I went and ed educated myself in Malaysia. So I did an American uh, certification in Malaysia, came back and as I came back, uh, I started working. I started getting clients and I started training and I noticed the income was really good. And from there, I asked Natasha because she was also a dancer. Mm. So I asked her, shall we start? I'll teach you what I have learned. Would you like I, it? That time by your husband and wife? No, we no. were just yeah, we were dating. dating. Yeah. So we started on that page and when we started that and I, and I trained Natasha, you don't understand the, the pull that she had was much more than me. She had more clients than me. Just look at her. Yeah. Thanks to Sorry. me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's how we started. So initially. both of y'all were like, y'all were slim and never out of shape. But yeah. what yeah. was the difference between just dancing and then training? Like planning and understanding your training and then doing that? Just dancing. Tra I mean, training yourself takes you to another level. Um, no, because everyone says, you know, do some cardio. Some yeah. will dance, some will walk, some will... Yeah, we were not doing dancing for cardio. Yeah. We were doing dancing because we, we enjoyed dancing and we were at the same time making money out of it. Yeah. That was the whole because that would be anyone's dream doing what you love doing yeah, and making money. So, but at that time, back in the day, the income was not that great. Mm. 
So that's why I was saying, Natasha, we can't live with this. We were just teenagers then, but I said, we can't live with this. But with time and starting training and doing it full time, things changed. She was doing her dancing and her training at the same time, but things rapidly changed when it came to fitness. Yeah. But there's a big difference when you start training, like because I didn't, I had never seen the inside of a gym. Right. I passed out the first day. He took <laughs> me. Um, what? Yeah, she passed. Yeah, out. I did a hamstring curl and I got a cramp and I like like for three thirty seconds I was like out. I was leaning against the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Please, this is my yeah. last day. Yeah. <laughs> but I came back. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, you really see like your body transform. You like you get stronger. It, yeah. it changes. So that's the difference because there are some guys of girls, they are cut, they are bulky, they are like, mm. yeah. but if you ask them to carry this, they are like, oh. <laughs> yeah. that doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. Uh, no, to me, to it me doesn't. doesn't. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You will come back to answer that. All right, we're getting into a break. We'll see you on the other side. You stick around. It's done on time. a little shout out about where we are right now, a healing cafe. Uh, this at Maratha Hotel and they actually have like yoga sessions happening here. Uh, even outsiders are allowed to come in, they have a gym. If you want a fit life, you can like eat here, work out there and like live a good life. Or just walk down Marine Drive, you have everything going for you. Uh, now, I wanted to speak to you a little bit about, y'all Y'all have been doing some cool things like uh, asking people to come and work out on a fancy looking day, yeah. giving them like cocktails and all. How do you work out when you're like having a sips of cocktail on the side? You first work out and then you have the oh, cocktail. Sorry. <laughs> so there is a bit of a dopamine going there. Ah, right, right. But right, how right. that got started is, because um, you know how four years are really like, uh, and yeah. everyone's like, There's I don't want to do, do anything. Yeah. yeah. So we thought, you know, why don't why not take a four year day and make it like and community. And you serve alcohol? No. No, no. Uh, we didn't on four days we were doing mocktails? <laughs> yeah, we did two four year sessions and then we thought, thought let's make it a little more, more exciting. exciting. Yeah. yeah, okay. So it started off with inspired by Poets. Yeah. And then you all moved into. Yeah, yeah, because at the same time, the restaurants also were making uh, income there because on Poet is, the, most ah, of yes. the restaurants are dull. Dull, dull, dull. Yeah. So we thought we'll make some, well, let's do something fun. Mm. So we were uh, having events and we were packing the whole place. Up. Right. So it was quite an interesting uh, concept that we were doing. But then. COVID yeah. happened. COVID happened. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> but uh, I think the last one was at that scraping point of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I Spot remember on. that. There was like nobody, even from us, we wanted to come and cover it, but we had no one to like say, everyone was like masking themselves up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, in terms of this lifestyle shift that is happening, uh, I would say most predominantly in Colombo, uh, everyone looking at a healthy life, they always say it's so expensive. You know, eating healthy is the most expensive thing now. Yeah. Would you agree with that statement? The question to ask is, um, when you're looking for a villa to go to or you're going to a holiday, uh, would you look for like a really nice villa or would, would you like to go to like a budget Small. place? Village. Yeah. So what's different about your health and um, pushing for long life? Are you willing to, if you need to go to the hospital and you, need, and you want to visit a doctor, would you want to go to the best doctor or do you want to go to someone who doesn't know what they're doing? Same thing, right? So don't you want to invest a lot for your health rather than invest in the hospital? 
And also, Danu, when you say eating clean, a lot of people take it to a different level. Eating clean is not uh, buying expensive things. Yeah. Eating exactly. clean is just, uh, even if you make a food at home, it's eating clean. Because when you go out and eat, you don't know what they add into the food. Right. Because you're not in the kitchen. So, and long as you know what you're eating. So, people need to get the concept out of their head when we say, uh, you need to eat clean. So, because when I have cl my clients, they some of them, uh, recently, if you if you just check my Instagram, my new uh, testimony of my client, she has three dinners or two dinners that she has to attend to, like events. But I never told not to eat anything. Mm. It's just that she was conscious of what she was putting into herself. So, it's more like the decisions you make prior to it's served or when you order. For sure, even, yeah. even if you take what's on the table right now, you can eat the whole thing or you can decide to, do you want to eat a half of it or a quarter of it because that's how much you can take and you can also have it later for another day or in the, later you can break day. it down. Yeah. It's just that you need to know if you're going to cheat with this full meal, are you going to, whatever you're going to put in, are you willing to burn it out later? So it's just there. There's the input and output. So this whole conversation about you know, you know, life is getting so expensive here. Yeah. How can we like that is not a that is not a bargain we can actually have with someone. No, you can't because what is expensive? If you eat uh, if you eat homemade chicken, just bring some chicken. If you eat it outside, it'll be expensive. But if you eat it at home, it's, it's always not. cheap. Yeah. It's true. just that people have gone into this place of eating uh, broccoli. So they're yeah. trying to look for things that we cannot yeah. get in Sri Lanka. You need to work with what you have. Like patola. <laughs> Sorry. If you know how to make it. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. patola is tasty. Like yeah. That's, yeah. Pa patola is a long thing. Yeah, right? yeah, that's that's long thing. Yeah. Snake gold, yeah. Yeah, that is really nice. There are so many things that you can work on. Yeah. So, yeah. How often can an average person have a cheat day? Um, there's nothing, uh, we don't believe in cheat days because... Do you all cheat every day? No. No, but what is a cheat? Like, what do you mean like, cheat day? What do you mean by cheat The meal, whole day yeah. you want to cheat or cheat meal? Eating bad stuff. Mm. Like oily stuff. Mm. Sweetie stuff. What if you, yeah, so what if you have like little bits of it every day? Then you're balancing it out, no? It's an argument that's very hard to win. Yeah. But if can you I, want can to... I bring, up, can yes, I bring fine. a point for that? Okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make that more easier for you. So when you say cheating, your definition of cheating and another person's definition is different. So you get a couple of different people. So there are people who are extremely disciplined. And you get people who would like to exercise so they can cheat. Yeah. So they can cheat. They do eat, but they can cheat. cheat. So it's how you think. So your definition of cheating and my definition of cheating can be different. I'm more confused than when I started this show. <laughs> yeah. But just to let you know, if you want to be felt up, Isra is doing something. I'll tell you about when you come back up. Okay? <laughs>
so it's like a uh, it's a stretching session where it's more dynamic and uh, it's not like a after workout stretch mm -hmm. it's like it's like a half an hour stretching session so so i'm using stretching i'm using therapy for the more for more of a mobility and more healing and recovery have you had any clients who were interested in more than just no the thing is uh, when i do my therapy <laughs> uh, yeah. it's difficult to feel that way Ah. It's not a pleasurable oh, session. Really? Yes. Yeah, my God, yeah. it's painful. It's I, painful. Everyone's like, oh, you're married to Isuru, you must be getting a lot of massages. I'm like, I don't even let him no. touch me. <laughs> she doesn't I, I pass out. Well, it's, different. it's different because I'm not doing a, a massage where you fall asleep. I'm working on an injury or on a tightness. So it's painful, is it? Yes, yeah. because when you have I blocks, mean, your, that's how it works. I'm not coming. Yeah, so <laughs> if you, because if I massage and you fall asleep, you won't know what I'm doing. True. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing gets done. Yeah, oh. nothing gets done, exactly. So this is more personal, this is more where I go into detail and I spend some you time. Feel, you feel good after, ah, right. yeah. not yeah. while. On the long run, you feel good. You feel good, okay. Yeah. I'm sure some people who might have come with a happy thought might have gone in a very, yeah. it's what you call a painful ending. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> good one. Yeah. Thanks. I, I can be creative like that, yeah. you know. Um, so this year is going to be very colourful and uh, to those who are, there are so many people who are fitness experts today, yeah. like a lot. Yeah. Like you know tomorrow I can even start a page and start <laughs> talking about you know, it's very important yeah. to like I was really fat and I've come this far because how do you trim and get the right information? Um, as a person who knows nothing about fitness? Yes. That's why we end up following everything, no mean? True. How do you trim and get the right information? Information, because there are so many people giving it. If you type fitness, everybody is into fitness. Like everyone is in Sri Lanka, everyone is into fitness. Now. I guess you can always uh, check up on uh, their qualifications, quali qualifications of the person you're following. Yeah. Um, that's the best way. Yeah, that's but I would also say qualifications, yes, but that's if you go again on qualification, that's only the paperwork. Yeah, that's true. There is no experience, there is no mm. understanding, so they'll yeah. always go on to the book. I think you need to try a couple of trainers and you need to ask the right questions. That I think, I think most of uh, clients and most of people won't ask the right questions. So you do 10 of this, 10 of that, 10 of this. But you will never ask why am I doing it and what is the purpose behind it. So I think people need to start asking questions and the trainers need to start answering the questions mm -hmm. and yeah. not cut off the client and get him to do the training. And I guess if if you've taken their advice and it doesn't work, yeah. there that's, you go, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's up to you then. Brilliant. I think it's a very common problem that we all face because uh, as the year had just started, everyone is going to be like, how can I find a good trainer? Yeah. And these things are very common uh, searching engine, search engines, so I really wanted to like bring these ones and tell you about it. Anyway, more than that, they are also very dear to me. They are fabulous in what they do. Um, if you do get them, you can always speak about what are the difficulties that you have? It could be from financial all the way to physical. They emotional. are very accommodating. Emotional. Yeah, emotional. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's, that's the best part. Um, anyway, thank you guys for being on the show. As always, I'm happy to start 2023 with you guys. Uh, have a blessed, uh, great 2023. You too. And thank now, you for having me. Can I eat this? Uh, that depends. Afterwards, what are you going to do? This, you soon. <laughs>